So I'll start seated, but then we will stand up for this song. And I'm hoping the sound quality is a little better. We switched our device that we're using. off of one of our CDs, Move, Sing, Breathe, which is available at dynamiclinks.com slash shop. And if you stay tuned, I'll give you a discount code for that shop later. But it's got over a dozen activities for music, movement, and relaxation, which we might all need at this time. So this is one of the hello songs that's on that CD. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey. One more. 
So if you tuned in towards the end of that song, I hope you got your bodies moving. Um, you can find that song on our Move, Sing, Breathe album at dynamiclinks.com slash shop. And I'll give you the code now if you really liked it. Uh, there's a discount code for anyone watching. It is LOYAL, capital L, 25. That gives you 25% off everything in our shop. And it's a great way to support your small local businesses at this time. So if you like what you hear and you want activities to do at home, you can go to our shop or you can email me to sign up for some of our interactive classes. That'll give us a little more feedback than what we have now. And we can structure things around what you like. But now let's hop into some music yoga hybrid. I have an awesome song by one of my good friends, Miss Stephanie, if you're watching. Hello, Stephanie, at Music for Kiddos. She's got also great resources. She's doing fun lives. Um, so we're, you know, all out here supporting one another. She's amazing. Uh, her song is called K-I-N-D Kind. Now, the song book that I have is for my littler friends, but if you're an older friend watching, totally fine. I like the message of this song, and you can just help me sing along. Oh no, I'm sorry, Miss Gina, I missed the jump. I'm gonna scooch my chair forward so that you can see the book a little better. So the song is K-I-N-D, kind. I hope you can read it the right way and that it's not backwards for you, but we can get creative with that. So we're gonna spell out the letters of kind. If you wanna help me keep the beat, you totally can. I'll try my best to stay with that beat as I turn the pages. So it's boom, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, clap, boom. K, okay, I'll be your friend. I, I know you'll be mine too. And new things are hard sometimes. D, don't you worry, I'll be by your side. Kind is kind of the most important thing that we can all be. Kind is kind of a very special thing for you and for me. So just be kind, oh, just be kind, 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 kind. All right, yell out the letter you see. K, kind words can go a long way. I, I hear the kind things you say. N, Nice is just the right thing to do. D, don't you worry, I'll be kind to you. Kind is kind of the most important thing that we can all be. Kind is kind of a very special thing for you and for me. So just be kind, oh, just be kind, 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 kind. I might say you're a good friend, hard worker, funny person. I like your ideas and I listen to them. When you fall down, I'll help you back up. When you've had a bad day, that's okay. Sometimes we're wrong. Sometimes we're imperfect. I'll forgive you and myself, cause we're worth it. We try and we still mess up sometimes, but we'll continue to try to just be kind cause kind is kind of the most important thing that we can all be kind is kind of a very 
very special thing for you and for me. Sing along this time. Kind is kind of the most important thing that we can all be. Kind is kind of a very special thing for you and for me. So just be kind, oh, just be kind, 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 kind. So before I talk for a minute, I want you to think, since we're on a delay, of three ways that you could be kind this week. So what are three things you could do at home when we're sitting with our family and spending some extra time indoors to share and spread kindness? So some ideas could be helping your parents out around the house, um, checking in with friends over FaceTime, doing some extra schoolwork or tutoring a friend if you can help them. So let me know in the comments what you're planning on doing to be kind over this next few days. Kindness, very important, right? If we share all this positivity and love, we're hoping that we can get that positivity and love back to us. So what can you do to be kind? I'm gonna check some of your comments. Oh, hello, Cartagena. Sorry, I just saw your, your post. Sharing, oh, Miss Kate, that's a good one. Yes, we can share with each other, right? If we have siblings at home, we might be getting a little cooped up, a little stuffy, a little stressed. So sharing with yourself, sharing with others if you have extra things, like maybe extra toilet paper, because there's certainly people who didn't catch that or get that when they went to the store. What else? Oh, hello, Dennis. <laughs> Thanks for hopping on. I think some other things we could do to spread kindness too, simply send a text message um, to a friend. If you have access to that, ask your parent to send a text to a friend. Keeping your room clean. If you're able, making dinner for someone in your family and just giving a little bit of that. We talked about in February, the five love languages. So the way we can maybe spread some kindness, spread some love is positive words we say to someone else, things we might do for someone else. Physical touch is a hard one right now, right? Because we want to keep our distance. But if we're at home with our family, giving lots of hugs and snuggles, um, we can also do something good for them proactively. We can give them a gift of something small, maybe just a note that you write them. Um, just some of the different ways that we could interact with one another. Let's see, I see something else popping up. Who has another idea? All oh, hugs, yes, physical touch hugs. I love it. We can give hugs. We're all about that. So I'm gonna move my chair out of the way and I'm gonna move my laptop over so I can see all your comments better, but we're gonna hop into our yoga portion of the day and we'll end with some more singing and relaxing. So make yourself some space. If you have a yoga mat, awesome. I would grab it and put it out. If you don't have a yoga mat, also awesome. You just need either all carpet or all hardwood so that you're not slipping and sliding all over the place. So I'm gonna move some things out of the way and we'll hop into some yoga. Ooh, they say we start our days with a compliment. I love that, waking up first thing and setting that positivity from the beginning. Oh, Cartagenas, love it, love it. So let me move my guitar so I don't accidentally kick it, but it will come into play later. And what you're seeing in the background is our beautiful therapy space. So this is our group room where we hold our large groups and you'll see our signature cubes on the wall. They are beautiful, amazing. We've had them in both spaces we've been in. We moved to this space in July. So we have a group therapy room, two individual therapy rooms, a waiting area. So I'll definitely do a Facebook tour at some point for those of you who've never seen it. Uh, Cause it's pretty awesome even though I'm only here alone all by myself for social distancing purposes right now. So let's hop into some yoga. I hope everybody's ready. I'm gonna move your comments over here so I can see them. And I'll put some music on in the background 
I think now you'll be able to hear it a little bit better. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just move our bodies so we don't distract anybody. Yay, yoga! Let's do it. So you might have seen I like to start my yoga classes a lot of the same way so we can get a routine, we can get a pattern for how we stretch our body. So our first pose is going to be diamond pose or butterfly, however you want to call it. And today, because we're all about kindness and our heart, we are going to be connecting our heart with different parts of our body and trying to open our heart and spread that kindness during kind of a crazy time. And that's okay if we feel a little stressed, we can still be kind, right? So we'll start in our butterfly in our diamond pose. Oh, thanks, Ms. Kiska. Yeah, you haven't seen our new space. I'm so glad you love it. Oh, you have, it came once. So we'll start with our feet together, knees wide in butterfly. And we'll do the same kind of butterfly song we did before, because hopefully you'll hear it better when I sing it this time. So you can flap your wings like a butterfly or stretch your back up tall. Butterfly, everybody wants to be a butterfly. Everybody wants to be a butterfly. Everybody wants to be one under the sun. We'll bring our hands to our heart, stretch our back up tall, shoulders back pressing to the wall. Now fold and bring your nose to your toes, as far as your body goes, as far as you can go. And if you can get your heart down towards the ground, that is great. Because when we connect our heart with our feet, with our ground, it gives us strength. Strength in our love and strength in our kindness. We'll take one more deep breath here. And stretch it back up tall. Pull the shoulders back towards the wall. Turn your body to your knee now. Lower your heart down towards the ground. And you can put your hands on the ground or you can keep your hands at your heart during this time. Connecting your heart with your body, your body with your body. Lots of different ways you can move. Take one more deep breath here. And stretch it back up tall. Turn the other way, face the other wall. Bring your heart down to the ground. Bring your hands down if you want, or don't if you not. So you'll see I like to improvise songs to the tunes I know, so I kind of change them every time. That's the beauty of having a music therapist is we're adapting things in the moment to the people in front of us. And that's the beauty of the online class, interactive class more than this Facebook Live, is I can actually see and respond and support you in time. Whereas here we have the delay and I can't really see anything you're doing. Um, so if you're interested in something more interactive, please, please send us an email. We'd love to show you about our community um, for that really, really low fee. And stretch it back up. Back stretching shoulders to the wall. Reach your arms up way up high now and bring them down to the ground one more time. So we'll stretch our nose to our toes one more time. You can keep your hands at your heart or you can bring them down to the floor, whatever feels good for you. Take one more deep breath here. Try not to stretch your neck up like I am. I'm just trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. And stretch it back up tall. We'll hug those knees in. And while you're here, I make all my adult groups do this and they think it's silly to 
give yourself a little compliment. So I like when we hug ourselves to send ourselves some self-love, because we forget to do that. So when we're sharing kindness with others, also share kindness with yourself, because things are, you know, kind of weird right now. And it's okay to make sure you're supporting yourself too. Parents who are listening, this goes for you too. Take some time to love on yourself a little bit. So if you can think of a compliment here, you could say, I am strong, or I am smart, or I am creative, whatever feels good for you. And we'll stretch our legs out long. When we did this pose on Monday too, I said the same thing, make sure these toes are pointed towards the ceiling. If there's a little bend in your knee, that's okay. As far as you can go with the longest legs possible is great. So we'll reach those arms up tall and reach for your straight toes. I'm gonna have you hold it here. I'm gonna check the comments to see if there's any questions. No, but hello, Kevin. <laughs> hold here for one more deep breath. And the cool thing about lives is that some of you are watching right now, but a lot of people watch later, which is cool that you can fit this music and yoga into any part of your day. So if you feel like you have to duck out or your kids are losing attention, totally fine. It will be on our page and you can tune back in anytime. Breathe out and rise your body up towards the sky. And we're gonna swing these legs around to table, top, hands and knees, please. We're gonna go to cat and cow. So we did this one on Monday, if you joined us. Bring our chin to our chest, shoulders forward, squeeze the belly button in, round the back, pressing up tall towards the ceiling with our back. And drop the back down, press the chest forward, look up towards the ceiling for cow pose. So you'll see a significant dip in my spine as I lower down to cow, and I sort of turn to the side so you can see it. And we do the reverse for cat. Chin to chest, shoulders forward, round the back, squeeze the belly button in, arch that spine. Drop the back down, press chest forward, look up towards the ceiling for our cow. If you wanna get really silly, you can moo as you move to cat. One more chin to chest, shoulders forward, squeeze the belly button around the back, arch it back up tall. And drop the back down, chest forward, look up towards the ceiling one more time. Bring our back flat, neutral spine to tabletop. If you're doing those cat cows on your own at home too, you can go any pace you want. So any speed you want, if you wanna go faster, slower, totally up to you, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna to move to some standing poses. So tabletop, bring your tummy in strong, tuck both toes, press legs up straight to downward facing dog. Now you'll see there's a slight bend in my knees and that's okay. If you have a larger bend, that's okay. We wanna work on pressing those heels towards the ground. My hamstrings are a bit tight today. And really important is keeping that back long chest pressing towards the thighs. We wanna make sure we don't have a rounded back up like this in down dog. Take one more deep breath here. Bend the knees, look forward. And walk the feet to the hands, fold it in half. Bring both arms up. And we're gonna to touch hands together, bring them to our chest since today is all about the heart chakra. Yay! So we're not gonna do a sun salutation today because I have some super important poses I wanna get to and we're gonna run out of time between all the fun music and yoga. For a full class with all the sun salutations, a full music class, a full yoga class, again, you can email me, alyssa at dynamiclinks.com to register for our Dynamic Links community classes. Uh, but we are gonna play our warrior freeze game, just like we did on Monday, because that one was so fun. I saw in the comments after that everybody was enjoying it. So I'm gonna teach you the warrior poses again, but we're gonna switch them up today to practice our loving kindness. So we're gonna have our hands at our chest when we freeze, touching our heart if you can. 
So warrior one, just to remind us. Oh, okay, we have a request for child's pose. Definitely, that's the ultimate heart pose. We will get there after some warrior and freeze. Cool. So we're gonna reach both arms up, feet hip width apart, just a little bit apart, not wide. Just your hips aren't as wide as you think they are. <laughs> Equal weight on the four corners of the feet. Step one foot back, bend the front knee, and make sure your body is facing straight to the front of the mat or straight to a wall. We don't want to have our wonky warrior, tall warrior, strong warrior. Bring both hands together, and we'll bring hands to the chest here. If this feels really comfortable, you can squeeze your hips forward so you can arch back, pressing your heart towards the sky. And if you want to get even crazier, you can put your hands back behind you on your thigh and press your heart all the way open. Oh my goodness. That feels really good, but can be tough if you're not used to it. So when we do back bends for parents, if you can help your kids, we want to make sure we squeeze our hips forward before we arch back. So you can see the difference if I turn sideways. If I just arch back, I end up sticking my booty out instead of squeezing my booty in, pressing my hips forward to lean back with the spine. And look how much further we can go. And it protects your pelvis, it protects your spine. We really wanna make sure we're pushing those hips forward. So if you can help your kids, if not, just make sure they don't go back too far with their booty out. We wanna protect that spine. So we're gonna play Warrior and Freeze. I'm gonna play the music. When I stop and say freeze, you gotta hit a warrior. You can hit a little arched warrior. You can hit a super arched warrior. Whatever feels good for you. Yay? Just double checking we don't have any other requests. All right. Now my strap of my guitar fell off. So I'm gonna do my best with no strap. So we're gonna move around Make some space if you have it. We played this game on Monday and it was a hit. We're gonna do some movement around the room and when I say freeze, you hit your warrior. Ready, set, go. position on the mat. 
Now, someone requested child's pose. I won't name the child's name, but I think I know who it was, Miss Gina. We're gonna do another one of those arched back poses before we head to child's pose. So we'll keep another back bend, and then we'll do that child's uh, pose, which is actually a forward fold for our back. So from our seated position, we're going to stand on our knees. So bring our knees behind us, stand our body up tall. Now I'm gonna turn sideways for this one so you can see me. And it's the same idea as before. This is why I wanted to make this a point when we were doing our arched warrior. We're gonna do camel pose, a little modified camel pose. We wanna make sure we're protecting our spine. So using our hips to arch the back, pressing forward, not pulling back. So pushing forward, then arching the spine. So the way I like to do this is to support the spine first. Put your hands on your lower back, fingertips pointing towards your booty. I hope too many kids aren't laughing at me say booty. So hands on your lower back, pressing your fingertips down towards the ground. And you're gonna use your hands to push your hips forward. And when you do that, your back will automatically bend back. So you wanna push hips forward first, squeeze our stomach muscles in strong to lean forward with balance, and arch back as far as you can. And when you're ready to come up, just exhale, squeeze up strong and slow. I like to use my abs first to pull myself upright where you'll get really dizzy. So the variation we're gonna do on this for our heart, for our kindness yoga, is bring our hands to our heart, press our hips and spine forward first and roll it back as you can. So however far you can go. If you want to drop your hands down to full camel, you can. Man, is it hard to talk in that position. To make that easier, if this is already feels good for you, but you can't quite get down to the ground, you can tuck your toes to bring your ankles up. So that makes it easier to reach. So you can do this camel, just a little bit. You can do this camel at your heart. I wanna make sure my spine is supported as I go back to full camel where I want to grab my ankles and press that heart chakra open, pulling the shoulders back. And then we'll release the ankles, bring ourselves up, bring our bottom to our feet, stretch our hands out long in front, bring our forehead to the mat for a child's pose. Now you can bring your hands together and to your heart here if you'd like. If child's pose is uncomfortable, a way to make it easier is stretch those knees out wide to the side. That'll give your hips a little more space. If you're wide-hipped like I might be. And we'll take two more deep, relaxing breaths here. Breathe in, slide the body up, hands to the knees. Gently lean to one side, and you can swing those legs in front, or you can sit crisscross. So we're gonna do a little relaxation breathing song. Ooh, so I'm just grabbing my guitar here. Now this song is off of our album, The Calm Down Kit. Um, so we have a couple different deep breathing songs on there. Again, you can find all of our songs, CDs, curriculum at dynamiclinks.com slash shop. And this one is called Yoga Relax, since we're doing yoga, how perfect. And it just helps you breathe in and breathe out. But our goal is to breathe in really slow, and breathe out really slow on the exhale. So a good trick is if you count one, two, three, four in your head as you breathe in like you're sucking through a straw. And then count four as you breathe out. So 
So my goal with the music is to support you in that, to even extend it to eight in and eight out if we can. So find a comfortable position and we're gonna take some deep breaths and then we're gonna sing goodbye. Worst part of the day. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out, breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. songs that we have in our albums that you could use at home. They come with lots of visuals and supports and a full guide on how to facilitate it yourself. So you don't need to be a musician. We give you everything you need. Again, you can find that at dynamiclinks.com shop. Use code LOYAL, capital L, 25 for 25% off your entire order. And one more quick plug for our interactive classes. If you like what you saw here, this is just a taste. I would say one quarter, one third, one eighth of what we do in our interactive online classes. So if you'd like to be a part of that community, send me an email, alyssa, A-L-Y-S-S-A, -S -S at dynamiclinks.com. We cannot wait to see you in those classes and to make some really, really fun music and yoga and awesomeness with you. So in the theme of kindness, we're gonna sing the Go Big, Be Kind, Be You song again, which is why I put it on Monday. So you'd be surprised, Miss Alyssa Sneaky always has plans, things always tie in together. So we'll see if you remember it, anyone who joined us on Monday. I saw a couple of familiar names popping up, which is great. I'm just trying to get my pick off the floor. Oh my goodness, it is stuck. I might have to give up on that. So I can sing right to you. You are wonderful. You're one of a kind, like a lucky star. You light up my life. So keep on shining. Keep on smiling. Go big, be kind, be you. The first words are, you are wonderful. You're one of a kind, like a lucky star, you light up my life. So keep on shining, keep on smiling, go big, be kind, be you. So if you can sing along all the words, awesome. If not, yell it at the top of your lungs. Go big, be kind, be you when we get there. So we'll do the whole song through two more times. Are you ready? I can just picture everyone in their house screaming at their TV with me. You are wonderful. You're one of a kind, like a lucky star.
p.m. tomorrow or in one of our interactive online classes. Tomorrow at 1 p.m., Miss Ava will be hosting a social lunchtime where she'll be sharing an activity or lesson of the day to kind of teach a skill to some of the older school-aged kids in the house. Uh, and then Friday, we'll be back again for another music and yoga. This time, it'll be towards a little bit more teen years, so we'll have an interactive music-making portion. Uh, but anyone is welcome to join and just follow along with what they feel comfortable. So we can't wait to see you here. We can't wait to hear from you in our email, alyssa at dynamiclinks.com, to gain access to all of our interactive online classes. And check out our shop if you like what you saw and heard here today. So I'm going to walk closer to the camera so I can officially say goodbye. I hope you had so much fun today, and I cannot wait to see you again soon.